a man on a bench made out of something. What's it made out of? I think it's made out of stone. It could be clay. <laughs> what do you think it looks like? I think it looks like stone. Well, he doesn't look exactly happy. No. He's got his eyes closed. He's very thin, so I think he's poor. This is a sculpture made in 1976. It's called Self Portrait and it was made by the artist Peter Palmer. I think it's quite good because it's got a lot of like texture in it and it looks really realistic. I originally thought it was made with clay and my predictions were right and I think the main way that I could tell was because it's quite a common um, medium to use for sculpturing. This is a collection of pottery from roughly the 1970s. I think it's more traditional for these kind of things to be made out of clay as compared to an actual statue. Why was Peter Palmer the height of a small boy? So while uh, he actually modelled this on his own body, it would have originally been life-size and when it went into the kiln it shrunk so um, it ended up being slightly smaller than he originally modelled it. From uh, our understanding, Peter Palmer made this when he was a student, so this was part of his college coursework. I think it's an important piece for him as an artist, and it would have taken a lot of time and effort and a lot of skill to create something like this. When I first saw this sculpture, I thought it was just a man sitting on a bench and it didn't really have much meaning to it. But then once I found out that it was a self-portrait and not just a random person that was made up, then it put more meaning and like thought into it because now we know that it was a real person that lived and that's how he wanted himself to be portrayed. So uh, we, uh, we know that Peter did this uh, piece of art as part of his co uh, college coursework. He then exhibited it at an exhibition held here at the museum with loads of other young contemporary artists and then uh, the artist had left it behind and never came to collect it. So we made many attempts to contact him and his tutor at the college um, to, to, to collect the work but um, no one came back to us. So we, we've ended up having this lovely sculpture as part of our collection. He used his self as a cast, so he was good. He was a good artist in the sense that he was able to create these moulds, but he wasn't. He's not good at sculpting humans in a sense. He only made the pieces and connected them. It was almost as if he like cheated. But you can't just like get yourself and then just copy that. Why not? Because it doesn't. You don't really deserve to be an artist if you do that. I think this is more, not art, but more craft in a sense. Yeah. I think it is a good piece of art. I think we can call it art, but it's just a different form of art than what we're used to. In my opinion, I think it's just art because if you create something, it's your creation. Art is when you've created something and imagined it the way you want it to be. But yeah. then technically from that point of view, anything is art. 